Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt Gamer, and the end of financial year sales is upon us. With that comes a whole heap of games that we're going to be buying. Well, I know my wallet's been cranked open for this so far. Uh, among the titles I've been picking up is Hide Gun No Commander, I've picked up today, thanks to the wifey. I picked up Going Medieval because it was a great sale from release day. Both of them are, actually, which is really, really good. Uh, we picked up MechWarrior 5 on PC. It's going to be amazing. We picked up so much stuff. The DLCs for Battletech. Uh, we picked up Empire of Sin and have finished it finally. Um, we'll be talking about that. That is featured in this video. Right now, you're watching footage from four... The King, me, Jamie, and Bootner are all playing, and we're getting pretty far on it, actually. It's going really well. Um, overall, I didn't think this game would be as fun, but this game is definitely more fun for full three people than it is with just two. I will 100% admit that. So, uh, we're going to talk slightly right now about Empire Sin since I actually finished it. Now, I'm a big fan of Paradox games. Um, originally, the game started off really fun, fast beat. But the way the building management happens and the way the map management happens made the game so grindy for me. But at the end of it, I was just waiting to finish it by killing off the gangster lords. Don't get me wrong, when I found all their little holdouts, it was really fun to go to each of their safe, ho safe houses. Like they would commit, they'd be like, we're going to war with you. And I would just go to each safe house and shoot them all in the head and take their empire. That was a lot of fun. Um, but other than that, yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it. This is a really fun encounter. Oh my god. For those of you watching at home, that was the second staff he's broken. So, also, um, I want to mention that Hell It Loose is on sale on Humble Bundle as well. Please check out the sales. They're everywhere. They're on Humble Bundle. They're on Steam. You'll find something you want. Like, Homeworld, for example, is on sale on Steam. Definitely recommend Homeworld if you haven't played it. I picked up the Desert's Homeworld, which is an expansion. But... Uh, so Rick picked up Hell at Loose, which is why we played a quick match of Hell at Loose with Rick, and that was a lot of fun. <laughs> he's like playing for the first time, and he's having a lot of fun. It's a good game. Hell at Loose is just just amazing. One of the best shooters. So there's a few other things we grabbed and played as well. Ah. Uh, the, the the amount of sales stuff is on like literally you can pick up blackguards one and two on humble bundle at the moment for like a dollar um they're great rpg games with the epic mega sale we managed to pick up room world for around about 30 mech warrior for around about 30 you could get world war z game of the year edition for like 15 dollars australian it's super cheap for and those guns are so so good on the game of the year edition if you didn't see me using them in the last video they're they're super powerful so i have definitely opened up my wallet anyway for these sales and i don't regret it so this is nexus the jupiter incident it's still one of my original favorite sci-fi's this and homeworld really brought me into the genre and so that's why I'm talking about Homeworld 2 because the nostalgia plus the way this game plays it's very Eve like so with this game you design your ship from the ground up give it its own guns and things and you set up fighter wings boarding troops you buy and sell things you set up weapons but you order your ships to do a certain combat rear guard. So what I'm doing right here is I'm telling my ship to target the weapon systems on the other ship. So instead of just blowing it up or damaging the hull and causing them to... Because like when the ship gets damaged enough too, they'll abandon ship. Which is really good. This game is... The realism just makes it really, really, really well. So also I installed um, Armour 3. A -A -R -M -A 3. Now, from what I understand, this game is a super realistic game. Um, it's got compass points to tell where the enemy are, cutscenes. This is the single player version of it. I'm actually thinking that this could be really fun to play with the boys. We could set up a little squad, go through the, some people's custom campaigns. It could be really, really good. I understand some people play the crap out of this and some people are very realistic. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever be that realistic. But... <laughs> Yeah, I, I see a lot of potential in this game being very enjoyable for a military shooter. 
so we've got a bit of footage from MechWarrior 5 coming up here as well. As I said, I'm super, super keen for No Commander Hide Gun. Why I picked it up today, it was 38% off on Humble Bundle. So that made it a neat $38 or something like that, which I was happy to definitely want to pay for a brand new title. Um, so I actually have very nostalgia feelings at No Commander. When I was a child, uh, me and my friends would play No Commander for weeks. My payment gets covers it. We would play No Commander from the start of one month to the end of the other month. I would go to the point of making my own little newspapers weekly for each match, covering a, a blow by blow for the gangs involved. I'd put ads in them. I would host these giant campaigns for No Commander, and it was like running like a D and D session for forty k where you had these cool gang battles, and the gangsters, like, the, the gang members, when they would die, they would take a roll on the table to see whether they would actually die-die, like, they would have to roll a snake eyes or a really low result to die-die or a really high result, I think. Or they could get lucky or scarred for life and pick up stat differences or lose a leg or lose an arm, then you'd have to go to the market and replace it. And this is a 40k game. I want to mention, like, that was a... 40k tabletop game that that had that much roleplay potential for when I'm going back like let's say 25 30 years it you can't praise no commander enough it's amazing and I'm really hoping a lot for the RPG game so I haven't actually gotten to play MechWarrior 5 yet myself this is why I was so keen to pick it up and play it I also heard that the campaign was co-op unfortunately me and boot and my internet does not like each other so when it comes to hosting games that we can both play together it's really really hard um hopefully one of my Australian friends has it and i can probably do the co-op with them um what we can do though is we can play mech warrior online which is the which is the like arena style mech warrior game that you can play that they added this is the arena style one here you can't go third person like you can in mech warrior 5 and as you tell the graphics are slightly more grittier i want to say like a bit weird but this actually was really enjoyable. I, this was my very first match I jumped into. Now, I've been playing a lot of Dreadnought, so for me, this was my first first person, sort of, well, first mech person <laughs> game I've played since playing Dreadnought. Um, I really got to, actually, I got to tier 3 ships on Dreadnought, and I'm interested in doing a video on the tier 3 ships. They all look amazing, by the way. If you haven't actually played Dreadnought, it's a great game. It's free to play now, and uh, there's, uh, like the matches have AI in them, unfortunately, because there's not much going with that. We also tried the Chivalry 2 beta. My friend Booten is super into Chivalry 2, so I'll be probably be picking that up to play with him. Hopefully the lag doesn't bite me in the ass, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, so, this is Empire of Sin, which we talked about earlier. Like I said, big fan of Paradox Games. Now... The turn-based combat was good, I like it, because I'm a fan of uh, this kind of combat, like XCOM style, is definitely me. This is a video of me killing one of the gangster lords, you just go straight to the safe house and you shoot them in the head, done. You win. <laughs> nah, actually, you have to hunt them down and kill them, but at this point I'd kill all the gangsters. You can see how many dead gangsters there is laying around in this club. Um, when I actually ended up winning the game, all I had to do was shoot enough gangsters dead, and you win. So I didn't even have to finish the main plot line, but because you get attacked randomly and you're spending so much money upgrading, you don't feel you have enough time to go to the black market and buy new weapons and stuff. This game definitely needs a bit less intensive building management, like 100%. It needs to be more cat low key and casual. So this is Chivalry 2 that we talked about. We played the beta. I had terrible internet though. Like as you can see, I'm jumping a bit. I was losing connection. It was it was bad. Um, don't know what that was about. So, going medieval. That's what we're looking at here. This is a little gem. Um, I was looking at this in Yakuza Empire, and this dropped, and it was really cheap on drop date. Like, uh, I think I paid, like, $20, $22, $25 for going medieval. And for a colony simulator game, it had so much involved in it. It's like survival mixed colony sim simulator like you actually literally build your buildings up like in the survival game you design how you want them all to go together uh you you attract new people by having a more prosperous town 
And the buildings get flavored based on what you do with them. So I've been building, like, this is my second playthrough where I actually built separate little um, bedrooms. And I have a huge storage room just committed to storage there. And there's an armory room over to the left up there. There's a kitchen. But in my first playthrough, I had this one giant building and it was just little with everything. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed talking to you. It was great. Good to see you all again. Have fun out there.